So the plan today was to make some hot cross buns and then I was like I am not in the mood for too much kneading of the flour situation today so I said you know what let me turn this dough into a softer mixture and then just bake it in my muffin pan and that's what I did so let's get started. First we're going to sift 3 cups of flour and I am also going to use some salt, some baking soda, yeast, and some five spice. That has nutmeg, it has everything in it, so I didn't bother to put, put anything extra, okay? As I said, I put baking powder in it, and I am going to add some coconut milk to this, okay? So this is also, it's a sweet dough, so we're going to put one cup of sugar. You could use any type of sugar you wish, and as I said, um, I used yeast and I am also going to add a cup of raisins. Actually, I use more than a cup of raisins. Let's say about a cup and a half of raisins. And I used um, three to four cups of flour. All right, listen, forget the measurements I'm giving you here. I'm going to put the measurements in the, in the comment section. But my plan was to make some buns. That was the whole plan here. And I changed my mind last minute. Okay, so I'm going to crack an egg and I'm going to place it into my coconut milk. Mix those two ingredients together. And then I'm going to add it to the dry ingredients. I don't know why the camera just went blurry all of a sudden. I have no clue, so I do apologize. So, after adding it to the coconut milk, give it a good mix to mixy. We're then going to add it to our dry ingredients. And we're also going to add some butter to that. I'm going to just cut the butter a little smaller. And while we're mixing it thin, you know, we will break it up. So, as long as my butter is properly incorporated in the flour and I add my egg and milk mixture, I'm going to knead it into a soft dough. As I said, I'm not making buns anymore. I'm going to set it aside to rest. And this is my muffin pan. I'm going to put some butter and some flour just for an easy transfer as this is a mixed mixture and I'm not kneading it and making some actual buns as planned because I just wasn't feeling to need flour today for 10 minutes. I just really wasn't in the mood. And if I'm making these type of buns, I want to knead it for that amount of time. So I'm showing you I'm also placing some of that butter and flour on the top in case it overrise. And so it's, again, transfer would be very easy. Using a half cup measurement. Don't overcrowd it, cup right? And just scoop it in. Leave enough room for it to raise. And that's what I'm gonna do. Half cup measurement of the mixture into the pan. So now I'm gonna put this, gonna put this to rest for at least an hour. And then I am going to bake. A quick rundown, I started off wanting to make hot cross buns. I quickly decided to change my mind because I didn't want to need flour and I did a mixed version and I baked it. So this is one hour after resting, so now I'm going to bake in the I oven. baked for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and this is what it looks like. It's so good, that nice coconutty flavor and all the spices just jumping out and showing themselves. Try this recipe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.